Hi folks, Survival Ridge here. Out in local park exploring with Bailey. He's enjoying himself, but what we are doing is tree planting. Loads of us here. So we're planting a millennia. That's a millennia. That's um, an oak to celebrate yeah. the 1916 rising. So the oak is there in the bag. Okay, we have a roof. We have above the roof. So we're just clearing the. Um, the detrius, I suppose. Lots of chippings here. So we're getting down to bare soil. And then dig a, dig a circle, lift all the soil up and aerate it. All we're doing is we're bringing in oxygen. Is that real? It is indeed. We're bringing in oxygen. <laughs> So it's nice that there's so many people involved in tree planting. Mm. Daily in the centre of the picture. Well exploring. And this is McCroom Park, the metal bridge going across the river. And as you go all of them, you lift these roots. Here, my slippers, I call them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We seem to be the only species that have forgotten our oceanic origins. Every plant loves seaweed. Every single plant will thank you. You get better apples. Oh, thank you for bringing the apple tree last week, by the way, Michael. Thank you. Our blood is saline as well. Our blood is saline. Oh, yes. Yes, I used to love looking at um, when I had a sister in law pregnant in the towns in Dublin. This little scanner. And uh, the. Uh, it was at that point where the fins, we, we grow fins in the womb, and then the fins develop into lungs over a few days. The fin stage, we're looking at a fish. Uh, so we, we are from the sea originally. The horse is different. Steiner points out the horse dropped all bar one toe. But originally, at the five, all mammals, all fish that were mammals, dolphins and whales, must have five fingers in there. Mm -hmm. So uh, the horse lost four and became a solitary, not ungulate, but a solitary hoof. Now, I think it looks a little bit sticky there for an oak. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what we're going to do now. When it's still not so, when it's still a little bit sticky, I'm going to do something different here. I was in Intergeela School on Friday and there was an old exhausted bag of <laughs> peat moss. So I took the bag away with me, and what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to, I'm going to just, oh, there's more seaweed dust and peat moss. Guys, would you, again, we want to get the stickiness out, the oak won't. Oak don't like limestone, firstly, you won't find oak in the Burren, or oak in Askeaton and Florida. So, and always keep the bag sealed. Don't let air at the roof, please. The soil here is about 5.8, which is ideal. Below 6. Oak does not like limestone. What likes limestone is hazel, elm, yew, buckthorn, elder, ash. The ash loves a bit of limestone. Anything that grows well in the graveyard is the real telltale. I think we're ready, guys. Yep. I think we're ready. Costing um, sandstone and limestone is two very, very different things. Pieces of salt. Yes, well, we're on old red sandstone here, which is acidic. Granite is acidic. Well, uh, very granulated soil now. See no pH. So, you know, the air has broken it all up. But in scientifically, stone is not capable of having a pH. When it gets wet, you then raise the pH. Okay. <laughs> Loving it. I know the and the I know the, depth. I know the depth. Plenty of stones. Michael, why plenty of stones? Because one of the things to eat. Yep. With the mineral. Yep. Three. Anybody help you in this one? Drainage. 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 You must get into the glacial, the ancient glacial on the soil. And give stability as well. And, and we must get air down there. It's the tree to even make an effort in, in the world to find itself in. So, and also I need a rabbit guard and a bamboo. No, that's it. Okay. Bare rooted. Now I must find it north and it's south face. How long Tell have we got? Tell me when it's facing yeah. south, that's south. Tell me when it's facing south. Is it facing south yet? Is that so facing? I think we'll just do it this way. I think that is so facing. There we go. Just hold it down So the majority of the growth on the side of on the any side of the tree is usually been growing towards the south, towards the sun. This is why he's using a compass down there. And, and what is the object of this planting? Uh, uh, have we remembered? The centenary, isn't it? Yes. To commemorate the 1916 rising. The 1916. Now, I mightn't have gone deep enough, but I've also got to just very gently, got to shake the air out. 
and then again draw it back over. We don't have to stamp it in yet. We now bring all of that over this. Would you hold on to that alien? Wood chip? Yes please. We must cover it cover it intensely. We need it can you have the sack of tours there a moment? Please. Careful what you're drawing in because it will root rapidly and mm -hmm. become a monster with seaweed dust. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love it. Okay, can I ask you a question? Of course. Is it true that um, during harsh winter, winters that like apple trees somehow know to produce more food for the blackbirds and things like that, and there's this uh, ground is covered in snow and ice? Uh. That's a, that's a complex one. Um, Steiner says that the old knowledge is no longer of any value in, in the modern world. We used to say, we used to say, um, if, the, if the ash comes out before the oak, yeah, we'll have a soak. We'll have a soak, but if the oak comes out before the ash, you won't have a splash. All of these old these wisdoms may have worked when we were agricultural people and we knew the value of the forest. But I don't think, uh, Nigel, yep. I don't know, I, we're living in a new time now. I think we're actually between two, uh, which is rare, we're between two eclipses in the one lunar cycle. And last Tuesday was the closest juniper has come to the Earth in possibly 30,000 years, and may not again for that period. So things are happening. But I don't want to. I don't want to go away and say Ted is wonderful. He's full of fairy tales. That's not the issue. Whether an apple <laughs> can read the future, I don't believe. No, not the apple, but uh, in my own garden we had a very bad freeze. You're trying to help, are you, Bailey? And they all fell on You're a good boy. And all the best people. I thought maybe it's food for them, and somehow it realised there was a cold time coming. Stress. Uh, that you've introduced a whole other idea here. Watching this, please, everyone. Sorry, uh, Ashling. Gabalashkail, Korosanan, at the hall. Me? Yes. Fiona. Fiona, would you watch this, please? Start again, Fiona, Miss Star. <coughs> the thin end down. Mm -hmm. Now, why are we using a bamboo, Stephen? Just so we can see the trees. When? In winter. July. Oh, is or, uh, Grass here oh, yeah. is up to there. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Next July. So I'm going to come here once a week and look at these children. I have no children of my own, so I've done a sort of a Jungian thing and I've made these my children. <laughs> and I come, the only way I can find this tree is by the bamboo in, in July. That's why I've, all the trees are bambooed. They should be anyway. Not for support. A branch coming out? No, not for support. Doesn't need support. This is a good anchorage here. <sighs> uh, you can do no better than that. Although you could do a little bit, just a little bit better, turning it that way. You do sacrifice these to the hair. Yeah. Which you must. The main thing is the hair does not attack the main stem. We're about to visit the parent of this tree. It's reckoned to be about 500 years of age. This was a tiny acorn that took 10 years to really, only in the last two years, did it suddenly realise, I'm going to make an effort. But in general, small acorns don't grow strong trees. But this is certainly showing a great strength. And finally, you just very, very gently. The reason for the mulch. Do we know the reason for the mulch? The first, to jam the stems of the hair. So we need more trees, folks. We need out of time. Smell of fresh soil. Dog. Pencart. Stay prepared, folks.